What's up, your boy Savage, aka the Sevlo. You tune into Sevlo Hood Tales. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get it to it for all the riders, man. So um, recently, bro, I've been kind of YouTube surfing, checking out people's content um, outside of uh, you know my norm, football, sports. Everybody knows I do I do sports. Most people do, um, and I've been checking about checking out hood vlogs and interviews and this and that. And then they have this podcast with you know a lot of West Coast artists. They go on there and they go to war. And there's Whack One Hundred and you know um, you got the Island Boys and these fools and this. But so a recent situation that occurred. Um, there's this guy named Big U, and he uh, he a California OG wrong sixty. Well, the rundown about Big U is, you know, um, he became famous, I would have to say recently. Um, Big U, I started hearing about Big U, honestly, um, a little before Nipsey had got killed. Nipsey Hussle, the rapper. And after Nipsey Hussle had actually got killed, Big U was a part of the peace, the peace treaty rallies and the marches for, uh, you know, Nipsey Hussle. He was one of the OGs from Rome 60s. They called to bring rival gangs together. Um, you've seen him in pictures with OG A Trey Gangsta Crips, and they beef with the Rome 60s. They do not get along at all. And they pulled up to that same spot, shook hands, took pictures. So it was a big statement. Um, but then there was also rumors that, you know, Big U was um, extorting Nipsey Hussle and they were tripping with each other. Um, and that's that goes right there. You know, it goes to show you that there's people that have rumors all the time. So about three days ago, I come across this video and it's talking about Big U had did an interview and he was saying that he was in a prison riot in prison because he was locked up and he got into a riot with the Southerners and he knocked out 32 Sudanios in a row. And this video actually was um, recommended to me and they said do a video um about this situation what do you think about it so big shout out to evil dork um and me from my experience being on the prison yard level four seeing riots with my own eyes being a part of different aspects of riots um and just seeing real life killers and big boys go to war and just being a part of that seeing it with my own eyes and seeing two groups go at each other, hearing lockdown on facility lockdown, first responders, the facility on lockdown, everybody gets to their units. Seeing fools um, walk into, you know, the gym and then all of a sudden one group rose up and it just gets set off. You see a fool get slept and then both of the groups just go to war. For one person to knock out 32 people in a row, it's not believable. I don't believe I don't believe that one bit. One reason is because when you go to war on a prison yard, you're not getting the fade up with nobody on the dolo. When you got enemies attacking you with knives and stuff, you got multiple people attacking a certain car four people at a time with knives. And I just don't see the Southerners because they're the ones that actually they go to combat. So they might run on, run up on you with a shank four of them at a time how you gonna knock out four fools one after another when they have knives and they're all killers they're all doing life because where big you was there was a lot of lifers and fools that just don't give a care so i do not see one person i don't care how big you are combat wise knocking out 32 people in a row when i when i think of knockout i think going to sleep now again put on your pocket now maybe he was fighting and he put multiple people on their pockets, but I don't see he I don't see him putting 32 people asleep in a row. That's how he's making it seem. So I have to call some type of cap. Um, and like I said, when you go to when you go to war and riots with certain cars in prison, um, one thing about the Southerners, they move militant. They're real militant. So they have strategies how they win wars. They they come at you full fledged and a lot of them fools are pokers, stickers. You know? A lot of them fools, they're gonna come at you with blades. They're not just gonna come out fade fading up with you. So like out here in DLC, the level fours, for a long time they had a four on one rule. They never lost situations. So, you know, 
I just don't believe it's cap. I, I believe that statement's cap. Now, I believe he might have been rocking fools and, you know, getting a lot of W's, but not sleeping people, not knocking them out. And that's my opinion. Savage Chef spoken. You know what it is, man. Y'all have a good day. Let's go.